Okay, so today we're going to run through how to perform a mini local SEO audit of any website within four minutes. Okay, now this video isn't going to be four minutes long just because I want to take a little bit more time to explain things through and why we're doing them. But the audit itself, if you have basic understanding of SEO, you should be able to cover the key points within within four or five minute period. Okay, um, and then obviously this is very much based off the 80-20 rule as well. So obviously, usually 20% of what's wrong with your site is causing 80% of the issues. So if we want to spend 20% of our time resolving that, we'll get 80% of the benefit. That rule is very, very common within our industry and it's super effective if you don't have a massive amount of time to implement long, you know, expensive and sometimes quite confusing technical SEO elements. So the basics, part one. So what actually is a local SEO audit? Well, a local SEO audit in and of itself is a thorough process that finds local SEO or technical SEO problems, okay? Combines on and off page, both again on the locational parameter, and we arrive at actionable conclusions with specific implementations. And the ultimate aim is to discover what these errors are, the shortcomings and the bottlenecks that are hurting your local organic traffic uh, optimization efforts okay so part two why we can't and won't shut the fuck up about local SEO anytime soon okay now this is pretty common but local businesses must concentrate on getting a bigger share of organic search it's one of the obviously I'm biased but it's one of the easiest ways to generate a massive amount of leads and local business and local buzz just from ranking for your primary and secondary keywords. Now, even if it's quite time or resource intensive upfront to pay an SEO agency or to actually implement the strategies yourself, the share that you gain and the long-term value of your business that increases is, is massive. It's exponential in some cases, okay? And then just a quick fact check. General SEO is important, obviously, but running a local business, um, local SEO actually brings customers to you instantly. So if I'm searching for, you know, Pizza Shop Cardiff or Pizza Shop London, or if I'm searching for, you know, parking in London, or even it's something kind of more, um, I guess, costly, so even a legal service or an accountancy firm, I'm still going to search that first if I don't have any recommendations. And then whoever I perceive at the top of Google is actually has that perception of trust, even though they all they've done is they have the best SEO. Okay, but a lot of people perceive Google to be the ultimate decider in a weird way. So if you rank first, you actually gain the psychology of search is what we call it. Um, and obviously that is pretty beneficial when it comes to closing clients on the phone as well. So local searches are incredibly intent driven, okay? So as a result, you have to put further efforts into converting other leads, but local search converts most cases in and of itself. So again, especially for lower ticket items, anything under a hundred pounds or a hundred dollars is usually an instant decision, you know, or within a two, three minute period. So for example, when we go away to a new city, most of the time I'm gonna search restaurants in that city location, have a quick look at reviews and make my decision in two to three minutes. The same is gonna be for mechanics, plumbers, you know, anything. Obviously when you get higher monetary values, those decisions do sort of, you look more into the social proof, you look more into the company itself. But for those shorter term ones, it's so easy to make a quick decision with this and honestly if you have good reviews and good local search you can have a business on top of that so think about this would you ever google best plumbers in bristol or best plumbers near me unless you really needed a plumber so this is what this is saying is this is locational intent but at a very specific time so this is very common with plumbers locksmiths electricians emergency services those sort of things because obviously people don't really care about price. They're not shopping around if you know your bathroom's flooded or your house is pitch black or your boiler's broken. They just wanna get that shit fixed ASAP, okay? And obviously 
you don't need to tell me about mobile search. It turns out 33% of all mobile searches are local and 90% of, or 95%, sorry, of smartphone users regularly perform local searches. Again, in the future, that's going to be 99%. Okay. So you're optimizing for a future audience. And honestly, it's just one of the most highly converting marketing strategies you can do. So all of these searches, 61% actually call the businesses within that search and 59% visit the businesses. So the conversion rates are really, really good. And one last stat to seal the deal if you're not already convinced is that nearly 40% of computer or tablet users do local searches to find business addresses. Okay, so obviously the intent here is to go and actually visit that business if you're looking for the address. So. Getting to the point then, I told you this wasn't going to be a four minute video. Um, our agency called HQ SEO, we build a little bespoke mini local SEO audit. It takes just four minutes to know if your local SEO game is on point. Um, obviously, you'll need some practice to hit those exact numbers, but it's not really that difficult. So let's get started. Who is this audit for? Okay, this is for anyone who runs a local business or is looking to bring in more leads or customers to a locationally relevant source. Um, obviously, why? Because local SEO is the key um, to making Google work for you. And a quick check will tell you if and how badly you need to get a professional SEO expert on board. Or in some cases, you might not need to. There's a few tweaks you can make yourself to get similar results. Okay, so. Are you a marketer trying to close more clients? Um, so for example, if you, this is just a little sort of example we did, but because a fast, effective local SEO audit is just what you need when you have dozens of leads waiting to be taken care of, less time put on boarding, massive scalability, and obviously massive increase in profitability too. So for example, if we have a potential lead coming through, we can implement this four or five minute audit and it doesn't take up agency resources. So we can actually sort of deliver the service very very quickly they get a lot of value from it and everybody wins there okay so stage one this is 60 seconds it's an on-page audit so start every local seo audit right where it matters the home page okay so all we're doing is auditing the home page we're looking at the title tags do we have our primary keyword in do we have our location in okay name product service location the highway star all night restaurant manchester easy okay Next, heading, H1 tag, okay? First of all, is there only one H1 tag? If there is, great. If there's not, delete the rest. You want only one, okay? Um, next, H2s. Do we have secondary keywords within H2 tags? If not, why, okay? So our secondary, our secondary H2 here in our site example, obviously organic traffic, okay? With higher converting organic traffic. And does this have user experience? When you hit our site, you see this and it looks good. It looks fresh. It's very clean. It's easy to understand. Okay. Nap. So name, address, and phone number. Okay. So here's our example. Eagle Labs, Brunel House, Fitzsimmons Road, Cardiff, CF, CF24, 0EB. Okay. And then obviously you have the phone there as well. Okay. So you have the name of the business, the address in the business, and the phone in the correct schema markup, which is important. Check this. If you don't have this, add it. Okay, it needs to be accurate and visible and consistent across all your web properties. D, alt text. Just make sure you have your alt text on the major images on your homepage. Simple as that. We're not going to get in too much detail in what that should be, but usually your brand name or your keywords is fine to start. Content. Don't read, just skim through this. Okay, so have a quick look at the homepage content. What to check. First of all, is there any content volume? Do you have text on your homepage? If not, you need some. How much do you need? Check the competitors that are ranking and copy the exact number, okay? Now, I don't mean copy the text. We have a video on duplicate content. If you wanna go and have a look at that, definitely do not copy the text, but what I'm saying is copy the number of words, okay? What's the overall presentation like? The navigation of the site, the UX, the design, internal linking. If the site looks rubbish, people are not going to convert from it. Okay, just having a well-designed website nowadays is, especially for local search when so many people don't, is a massive advantage. And then obviously a quick pro tip, if you're dealing with an important client, 
repeat the on-page process for all important pages. So for example, category pages, product pages, service pages, landing pages, different locations, etc. Okay, the content will change, but the logic won't. Just with that little five, six steps, you can say to a client, hey, here you don't have a very well-optimized H1. Here you don't actually have an SEO title. Here you don't have much content. You're missing old tags, you know, um, and even on these internal pages, things are wrong, okay? It just positions you in a very authoritative way, okay? Link profile audit, okay? So this will allow us to quickly get a view of their SEO universe and basically their link building, I guess, um, you know, their link building profile in and of itself, okay? So use your SEO tool of choice, but use Ahrefs. So in short, it's Ahrefs is a tool that helps you analyze the competition of a domain. So for example, you can see the total number of referring domains pointing to that keyword, uh, to that website, sorry, and you can analyze each one, okay? It's a massive big data tool, and it's one of the tools we use on a even probably hourly basis in-house, okay? Put your specific client into this tool, and you will see the total number of backlinks referring to domains, organic keywords, organic traffic, okay? Sorry, <laughs> I thought there was another slide there. What we're gonna do here is basically see if this site is brand new. Does it have any referring domains? Does it have any links, okay? Does it rank for any keywords? If it's no across the board, we can say that, and we can tell them why, because you have no links. If they have a good link profile, we can say, hey, your on-page and technical SEO is probably the major issue. And usually it's gonna be both, okay? But this just gives us a good example and a good screenshot that we can use in our presentation. Stage three, citation audit. So basically it's time to see how your business is represented online. Now, what is a business citation? So a citation is where your name, address, and phone number is present on external websites. So obviously Google Business, this is the example here, you have websites like Foursquare, Yelp, TripAdvisor, Glassdoor, and so on, okay? Now a structured citation is where it's filled in in this format here, and it will look basically very clean and it will be in schema markup. So inside the website you'll have the place where you enter your business name, then you'll have the the lines where you enter your address, then the line where you enter your phone number, and that's called a structured citation, okay? Those are very, very important, and you could also get unstructured ones, and that would be if you just copy and pasted the text um, with your name, address, phone number into, say, a press release and distributed that. That would be an unstructured citation, okay? Now, how to check citations? You can use a couple of different tools. Um, you can use Moz Local Search Tool or the Hoth Business Finder Tool. I actually don't love them anymore. Um, the one we use on a daily basis is uh, WhiteSpark now, so I would recommend that. And then what we're checking for is citation accuracy, consistency, and any duplicates. And then obviously the specific action is to change the ones that aren't accurate, remove any duplicates, and make sure everything is consistent across the board. Okay, so for example here, this company obviously changed their phone number. They used to use a mobile, it looks like, and then they went to an 0115 number. Basically here, we wanna remove one of these, okay? And it's pretty much that simple. It's not, it's really not a difficult thing to do this, um, but it does have a massive, massive amount of value, okay? And then finally, part four is gonna be a GMB audit. So Google My Business is a massive part of local rankings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna optimize this, okay? Now this is keeps changing, which is really annoying, but the snippets within Google My Business is one of the most important things, okay? So you can see when you search on mobile, this is what appears, this local search. It's called the snack pack or the local pack. Um, this is particularly important because this is the first impression your business makes. So make sure you have an image, make sure you have your specific brand name, or if you're going with a you know, pest control Manchester style approach, then obviously make sure that's there too, okay? And this is instantly visible to reviews. So if somebody has, for example, on the right, who are you most likely to choose, okay? Aside from the fact that it's closed, it's gonna be the second listing. So how to check this, okay? This is very easy. 
All you want to do is check the NAP consistency again, make sure it matches up to your website and other locations. If you don't actually have a Google My Business page yet, then obviously go and set one up. Then you want to check things like location pin, make sure that's in the right place, the business hours, the state of the reviews, make sure they're not hyper negative, otherwise you probably have some internal business issues. Um, the business hours themselves, the photos, both business and user submitted, and the engagement within reviews as well. If you're a large business with multiple locations, I would recommend having a team member check this on a weekly basis or even a daily basis if you're a very large business because you can stop getting negative reviews and obviously long term that's really going to hurt your reputation. Um, again, the business name is one of the common ones we see. Don't try and include any random keywords in here. So for example, Nottingham City Guitars, that's fine. Don't put Nottingham City Guitars and Music Store things like that we see they don't work they don't match up to your actual business name and as a result you won't have improved rankings over time okay so that's it i know this is obviously a longer video than four minutes but once you and have done this a few times you'll actually be able to implement this very 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 quickly and once you have an understanding of major local seo issues you can build out this and you can obviously build out the actionable inputs that a full length local SEO audit can focus on. Okay, so then obviously, finally, make sure you build out quick projection of site wide problems. So, little quick fixes are really good. So, even things like, okay, change your Google business um, address or name or phone number, or things like, you know, SEO titles, duplication of H1 tags. We've worked with some eight, nine figure companies and they still have these very, very basic issues in place. So just implementing these on-page optimization strategies and just reviewing them very quickly can actually lead to a great ROI down the road. Okay. And obviously life's easier with our checklist. So you can obviously download our checklist at mini-local-seo-audit link is in the description um, that's at hqseo.co.uk as well so everything we talked about here into a no-nonsense mini local seo checklist full critical local seo checks actionable results tailored for local business professionals and marketers as well that you can send to your clients and again you can download free below and if you have any questions please feel free to get in touch okay so in short Local SEO doesn't just bring in leads, it brings in hyper-specific targeted sales. A mini local SEO audit is just the right kind of health check that local businesses need. And literally, once you get used to this process, it takes about four minutes. That's all it will take. And if you're serious about local SEO and actually earning money through search, it's very important. Okay? If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on email or contact me through Twitter. Okay, cheers.